1,500 jobs soon to be cut from the Omaha workforce. That's the word this morning following an announcement from ConAgra Foods Incorporated. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm Joe Chiotto. Happening locally live at 5 tonight, we are learning more about ConAgra's major corporate shakeup. It is moving its headquarters now from Omaha to Chicago. And here's a look at some of the numbers in today's announcement. 1,500 jobs are cut. 30% of the company's global office-based workforce, most of them right here in Omaha. And according to ConAgra, well, this decision, it should result in, get this, about $200 million in cost savings. That's in addition to approximately $150 million in cost cuts that will happen over the last two years. And we're told the company will still maintain a significant presence in the Omaha area, roughly 1,200 workers with key administrative and management functions still downtown. Of the 1,500 layoffs, about 1,000 will take place right here in Omaha. The big question on pretty much everyone's mind, what are those hundreds of workers going to end up doing? Will Omaha even be able to absorb such job losses? Our Matthew Smith has been tracking the story. Matt, there are a number of directions that people can look. Uh, Mallory, and that's the point a lot of people are starting to make here. In fact, I did have a chance to talk to one of the higher ups within the company. He declined to go on camera for me, but did confirm a timeline. The people that work here at Conagra will learn their fate in the next two to four weeks. And for those who work with unemployed people here in Omaha, or even for that matter, people that are underemployed, they have some advice tonight. Don't wait. You got it. You got to do the footwork, definitely. Tammy Wright is in her element. Good afternoon, Charles Drew Homeless Clinic. This is Tammy. How may I help you? Working here at Charles Drew isn't a chance event. She landed the work through Goodwill's Work Ops program. It helped me with resumes. It helped me um, know where I was in terms of interviewing skills. And I, I, I noticed that I wasn't that far off. It also gave me insight on what employers were looking for what kind of questions to ask. In the coming days and weeks, hundreds of people that work on Omaha's ConAgra campus will learn they no longer have a future here. Time is running out. It's like a death. Um, you mourn and you grieve your old job, your old coworkers, and we help you get where you need to be so you're on your game for your interviews. For Holly McElhatton, a Goodwill employee, looking for work is nothing new. She's one of the people who helps candidates like Wright find work. It doesn't matter if you're in school like Wright, unemployed or even laid off, as we know some at Conagra soon will be. The reality for some of those people being cut, it's been a while since they looked for a job. Well, job searching is scary. It, it is. Um, every employer is asking for different qualifications, different um, education requirements, or even what they like resumes to look like. Applying online could even be a foreign concept, but Wright, who's finding a new path herself, says this is no time to panic. Don't give up. It, you know, it's tough, but don't give up. Just keep doing what, you know, what you're supposed to do. With photographer Mike Plews, I'm Matthew Smith, WOWT 6 News. And the most important piece of advice from people that Matt talked to with, well, don't wait to begin your job search. We're told there are employers out there that need employees right now. Now, along with the 1,200 employees that